and welcome back to another video. Today's just gonna be a little bit of a, uh, a check-in from here in Bangkok. We arrived last night uh, at this incredible hotel here. I can't pronounce it, but I think it's called At 21 Saladang. Very, very nice, you know, check this out. It's like a little office space where I can edit some videos. Bit of a nice area over here. And uh, I'll come back around here, it's a nice little kitchen area. It's super nice. Um, right now, we're just about to hop out for our first look at Bangkok. Go check out the city. I mean, I have been here once before, but it was only for about 16 hours or so. So I can't really say I have properly seen the city. So, you know, uh, first impression somewhat of the city. So looking forward to it. We're super close to a place called Lumfini Park. So we're just gonna go check that place out first uh, and actually make our way to 7-Eleven as well. Just get some water because I'm sure it's quite warm outside, but uh, let's go check out the city. So we got a couple of bottles of water now. Walk past a few different like sort of like markets and things on the way down here to Lumfini Park. I like massive parks in big cities. It's almost like a break from all the craziness. It's like a nice little secluded place. Ah, oh, this must be like an old little workout spot. It is. It's an old gym. Or is it an old gym or is it still current? Some old like bench press. Members, 200 baht, 30 baht daily. I'm guessing some of this is still usable by the looks of it. Got the old squat rack going here. Some barbells. Nice little outdoor gym. Pretty rusted up though. Wouldn't want to be uh, benching too heavy on some of these. Might snap. That's cool. Cindy's just uh, taking some photos at flowers as usual. When I uh, last stayed in Bangkok, it was about 11 months ago, and I stayed in a place called Sucumba 11. And the reason I stayed there was because I heard you know a lot of foreigners stay there, and um, you know, there's a lot of like shopping and like food in the area. So I don't know, I didn't really look too much into it, but I immediately regretted it when I went and stayed there. So yeah, I better get a wink of sleep that night. There was like nightclubs next door and stuff. So I'm super happy that uh, where we're staying now. I remember it was the taxi driver on the way to the airport who told me, oh, if you want somewhere quieter, go somewhere like near Lumfini Park. So that's what we've done. And uh, yeah. Thank you, taxi driver. Good place. Found a nice spot to chill. Take it all in, just alongside this lake here. But I love all the, uh, it reminds me a lot about Shanghai, to be honest, the city. There's a lot of trees and big, unique buildings as well. All the runners are out doing their laps around this park here. It's funny, we just had an old man walk past and uh, sort of like look at us both. Put that into context, actually my partner, she's Chinese, I'm Australian, so sometimes, you know, people like to you know, it's not always bad, they're just trying to figure out the situation, put it that way. Uh, especially when you're in Asian countries, they're probably trying to work out if she's Thai. And then, you know, oh, a foreigner with a tiger or like a, you know, something like that. But when I used to be in China, 
and especially places like Shanghai, sometimes the reception always wasn't the best, especially from someone like the uh, older gentlemen. Uh, yeah, they have like old ways, old ways of thinking, etc. So, yeah, sometimes the looks weren't that great, which was quite annoying. Uh, I had to learn some words to sort of, uh, yeah, express my frustration as well. But just then, the old man, when he walked past, he just looked at us both and I did what you should always do in that situation. I just cranked out a bit of a smile and a head nod and uh, he smiled and gave me a head nod back. So I like that. So, yeah. So Cindy's just bought some street food. She got this one, well, she got this one because I think a couple of days ago in China it was a dragon boat festival and it looks quite similar. Yeah. So I'm guessing there's probably like sticky rice or something inside there. Mm. Yeah, oh yeah, rice and red bean. Rice and red bean, there you go. Cover with the leaves, so they got a special flavor. Nice. Back at the hotel now, just looking at some of these old photos from around Bangkok. So before the tuk-tuks, that's how they would have transported people around. Wow, there's more photos around the back here too. We can actually see the building. Yeah. It must be this one over here, I think. Yeah, this is the one. So I'm pretty sure this is the building we're staying in. And judging by those cars, possibly the 50s, 40s or 50s, that's a guess. The building looks like the one on the mound. Yeah. And that one, see? Very colonial style, I think. We've been back at the hotel room for a little bit now. Um, I went down, checked out the gym for a little bit. Pretty lazy last week, so to speak, being sick and whatnot, so that was good. And yeah, we're just gonna head back out. I wanna go to another convenience store, get a few more things. We are back uh, at the hotel now. Um, we just went out for a little bit of a shop and uh, a brief look around. It's probably about one or two in the afternoon at the moment, but I reckon I'll wrap this video up here. So yeah, more so brief little uh, check-in and a uh, quick little look around our first day here in Bangkok. I'll catch you on the next one when we're probably exploring around Bangkok still. See you then, cheers.